I think my interest in, in engineering has definitely evolved over time. Uh, I think it started not necessarily as an interest in engineering or biomedical engineering, but more so just an interest in math and in science and this idea of problem solving. I came to campus and I was pretty set on finding a research lab. Um, for a couple of reasons, this lab appealed to me. One, um, because their uh, nice focus on cardiology and cardiovascular tissue engineering. Um, so I'm, and on the medical side of things, I'm very interested in cardiology, so I thought this might be a good working environment for me. Um, but also, I was really interested in this idea of like modeling the human body. So we do a lot of that in like developing in vitro models, so models like in a subculture dish. Like I had this weird interest in the idea of like building a human heart. Growing up and looking at these labs work, that's something that really caught my interest. Um, so I started working in the lab uh, January of my freshman year and I've been here continuously ever since. My senior project is the line of uh, cardiac tissue engineering seeking to develop a model of this uh, disease called cardiac fibrosis that causes tissue injury and then there's a scar that develops. And so I'm seeking to recapitulate that process in a dish with the ultimate goal being that if we could successfully do that, um, then this tool could be a drug screening uh, platform that we could use to aid in the development of interventions for that disease. As an engineer, you develop skills that ultimately aid you in the development of devices and platforms and things that could be used to intervene in some problem. And I think working in a lab and conducting research is a good way of getting at like the leading edge of whatever problem you're attempting to solve. I'm planning on enrolling in an MD PhD program uh, next year, so still doing the MD, but also continuing on doing PhD in bioengineering um, with the ultimate goal of integrating research more into my career or making it almost the primary focus within my career. I think because the School of Engineering and Applied Sciences isn't as large as what you might find at other engineering schools, um, it really helps to foster like more intimate learning environments, more intimate uh, conversations within learning spaces. And I think that that's been good for me because that's usually how I learn the best.